They saw him do all kinds of miraculous things. But it's very interesting. They never said, Lord, teach us to heal the sick. Teach us to raise the dead. Teach us to do miracles. Do you know what they did say? Lord, teach us to pray. Because they knew that prayer was the secret behind everything that Jesus did. And when Jesus taught them to pray, this is what he taught them. He taught them five principles. First of all, he said, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. First, he pointed them upward to God. He wanted them to have their focus on him. Secondly, he taught them to pray this way. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. He taught them to pray for other people. The kingdom of God is in the hearts of people. He taught them to pray that God's kingdom would come into the hearts of men and women everywhere. So we pray for people. First, worship, thank Him, praise Him, and then pray for others. Then the third thing He taught them was give us this day our daily bread. And, and he taught them to bring their needs to God. God wants to meet every need that you have. He loves you. He's concerned about you. He's concerned about your needs. So bring your needs to him. But then he digs deep. And Jesus taught them to pray in this way. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. He taught them about the grace of God, to pray for grace, to be forgiven, to be honest and transparent and say, Lord, forgive me. I've blown it. I've messed up. And then also to appropriate that grace in your heart to forgive those who have hurt you. And, and so he taught them to do that. And then the final thing he taught them was spiritual warfare. He taught them, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil or the evil one. Listen, don't go to spiritual warfare until you know that you're forgiven and that you've forgiven others. But then you need to put on the whole armor of God and you need to go into life realizing that there's a spiritual battle taking place and you need to go before the Lord and you need to call upon the name of the Lord and He will give you victory in that battle. So why don't you just spend some time today saying, Lord, teach me to pray.